Deborah Newman here today. We're going to be talking about trimming your goat's hooves. We'll be doing that using a milk stand, both for the goat's safety and mine. That way the goat can't decide halfway through that she just wants to take off because if she does make any sudden movements, it could wind up in her getting cut badly or me. And in either case, that would be a bad thing. One of the advantages of using a milk stand is that the goat has her head in here and we've got feed in the pan. There's a little bit of grain in here to get her really interested, but it's mostly alfalfa pellets. Um, you don't want to give a goat too much grain because it can wind up giving them diarrhea. So that's why we've got mostly alfalfa pellets in here. And there's also a few sunflower seeds, which are also really good for goats. But by having the feed in here, that way they are happy to stay here and let me trim their hooves because they're getting a treat. These are the hoof trimmers that I'm going to be using. You can purchase these just about anywhere at all online. Just search for goat hoof trimmers and you'll find these all over the place. They do look a lot like garden shears. And in fact, one time when I ordered them from somewhere and they came in the mail, they did say garden shears on them. So that, um, so if you find garden shears that look like this, feel free to go ahead and buy them and they'll probably work. So we're going to start with the back hoof here. We're going to put the um, hoof trimmers into here like this so that we're pulling out dirt and mud and manure while also exposing the excess hoof. And that is all we're going to cut off. We're just going to cut off the extra. It's like trimming your own fingernails. And you just do a little bit at a time until there's no more left. You don't want to cut too much because you, you can cut them into the quick. So then we're going to do the other side. And we're trimming the excess off of there. And there you go. One hoof. One hoof is done. So we're going to do this hoof. There we go, another one is done. To do the front hooves, I like to be standing on the opposite side of the goat and then reach across. So that way, when I pick this up, pick up this leg, I can pull it snugly against her body and also I'm pulling her against me. And then I am gonna just do the same thing in terms of how I trim the hooves. And there you go, that one is, whoops, a little bit more there. And we are done. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay. It is possible to cut too much just as it is possible for you to cut too far when you're trimming your own nails. And if that happens, the goat will bleed, so try not to panic. You can get a styptic powder. It's usually the livestock stuff is just called blood stop powder and have that on hand. What I like to do if that happens is I just sprinkle a big pile of it on the milk stand and then I just, that's where I stand the goat's hoof so that the goat is putting pressure on it while it's in that blood stop powder. And that helps to stop the bleeding fairly quickly. 